You might recognize this guy as the face behind Top Dog Hot Dog Cart, which is in the Old Port during the summer months. But this time of year, he's sharing his gifts with the students over at Southern Maine Community College. And today, he's sharing his gifts with us. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. What are we making today? Today, we're going to be making a rigatoni a la vodka. And so what I first like to do with this is I like to start getting a pan at a medium heat, warmed up a little bit. And then I add a little bit of some bacon to that. You'll see that this bacon has already been started to be sauteed. I cheated a little bit before we got started here. And what I wanted to do was just show you that as this bacon starts to kind of render and break down, you'll notice here some of what looks like oil in the pan, but that's not oil, that's actually bacon fat. Mm -hmm. And what I recommend you do is you absolutely try to save that. So I have a bunch of it here that I saved earlier that I just used a little slotted spoon and I reserve that bacon fat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that later on for something in the future. Just put it in your freezer for a rainy day. Perfect. But in the meantime here, we're sauteing this bacon in the bacon fat, and we're gonna add a little Ooh. bit of some raw onion to this. Okay. So raw onion's gonna go in here. This is only gonna need to saute for a few moments. You'll notice it'll start to break down rather quickly. And oh. with this alabaca, can you smell that so bacon good. and onion? Oh <laughs> man. Love it. Out of the pan a little bit. So this is a quick dish, really. This is going to take, most of the time is going to take in the reduction here, but we're going to deglaze right now with a little bit of some brandy and some vodka here. Oh my gosh. Stay away from the curtains on that one. Seriously. And it's going to cook off really, really fast. To that, I'm going to add a little bit of some fresh marinara sauce that I made. This is a... a 20 minute marinara sauce, really a 17 minute marinara sauce. You saute some garlic and some olive oil at about a medium heat, and then you add yep. the tomato to that. Add a little bit of basil, and then puree it. And in less than 20 minutes, you'll have a sauce just like this. Nice. So you can make that ahead of time. You don't have to do it on the same day that you're doing this. So okay. that's one of the advantages of that is you can make that ahead of time and then pull it out for now. Perfect. So once you see the sauce now is starting to bubble and yep. clean up a little bit, we're going to take a little bit of heavy cream, and we're just going to add a little bit of heavy cream to that, and that's going to kind of make this now into a pink sauce. All right. And you'll see is that now just simply as I stir this together, this is just now going to need to reduce, get a little bit thicker, mm -hmm. let those flavors combine. I'll add a little bit of salt and some pepper to that. So while that's cooking and breaking itself down, that's going to reduce, and now that's going to look like this version of the sauce that we have right over here. How long will it take to get to that? From this pan to this pan, you're talking about five minutes or so of okay. time. It's not too, too long. Not too, too long, but just slightly longer than we have. So what I've done in this pan in the middle, in this pasta pentola, we've got our rigatoni that we've been able to kind of boil to al dente. Because it's gonna be cooking in this sauce, we wanna be really careful not to overcook this mm. pasta. So this only cooked for about 12 minutes. Generally speaking, when you're looking at the box of pasta, it'll have directions right on it for how to cook it al dente. Okay. And it's generally about three minutes less than the full cook time. So it kind of finishes cooking while it's in the sauce. That's exactly okay. the idea, yeah. So now that we're gonna be able to put it in here at an al dente state, it's gonna have the ability to kind of keep cooking and thicken up the sauce just a little bit as well. Nice. And that's when it comes together really quickly like this. And I know sometimes too, people will take like the pasta water and add it to the sauce and stuff, but not in this case. Not in this case, no, you don't really have to do that. If you were looking to thin it out, let's say, oh, okay. you, let's say you reduce it and it was a bit too heavy, maybe you wanted to just add a little bit of that in this case. Um, but yeah, I, I like to leave it just at this kind of consistency like this. Oh, it smells so good. So here we've got our rigatoni alla vodka, and this is ready to plate up now. Nice. So I come in here right into these bowls that we have right in the front. That was really easy. Really fast, yeah. If you've got, you've got about 20 minutes or so, the, the trick is to start the, start the pasta water and get that going yep. right before you start cooking the sauce, and then it usually times out to about the same. Nice. So now we can come in here with a little bit of this Rigatoni alla vodka. You could keep the bacon out if you are interested in this being strictly vegetarian. You could absolutely do that and just stick with the idea of the pink sauce. And if you even wanted to back off the idea of using the alcohol, 
You could do that too. You Although, can add extra to mine. It's okay. A little bit of extra, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. So I usually come in here now and add just a little bit of some, some fresh basil. Oh, so pretty. Maybe there are some, you know, a couple dots of some ricotta cheese. You can kind of put in here something like this. Man. A little cracked pepper. And some Parmesan on the microplane like that. Beautiful. Oh my God, imagine coming home to this on a cold night, eating rig something rig like this. Yeah, rigatoni alla vodka comes together just oh, like that in a snack. I love it. Chef Bo Burn, <laughs> thanks so much for being here, thanks showing us how to me. make this. We're gonna have this for you right in the 207 section of our website for you. I'm gonna dig in and we're gonna be right back.